here we are at Grinley Brook, filling up with water before proceeding down Grinley Brook Locks, which is a series of six locks, the first three of which are staircase locks. So there are volunteer lockies on there, we've booked our slot and uh, as soon as the water's done we'll head down. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous morning. And uh, if we weren't moving today, I think I'd be inclined to get the sanding block out and get that rust sanded and also coated with fur tan rust stopper stuff and uh, paint the whole side of the boat black. But that, hopefully, we're going to have a few days of uh, dry weather and we'll be able to get that done. It's going to look a lot better because the winter, the damp, horrible winter, has taken its toll. Look at that green. Yuck. I think Francis needs some practice of getting into locks. She'll blame the wind, I'm sure. Wind? Yes. Yeah, see. I know the idea is that they assist you going down the lock, but there's two of them there. You don't have to do anything, it's amazing. Slow down, Francis. So the lock keeper's gone to the top lock now to let the next boat in there's a bit of a queue formed and apparently during the summer you can expect a wait of two hours at times so uh, come early or come late that's the solution I think Well, we're not going far today. We're just going to the bottom of the locks. We just uh, wanted to run the engine, charge a few things up, get a bit of washing done. And so we'll hopefully, there's some space because there's been so much traffic these last few days up and down this canal. So there's some beautiful mooring spots at the bottom, just after the bottom lock. So fingers crossed, that's all we need to travel today. get a shift done. The boat behind caught us up. The lady kindly helped us with the bottom gates. And that's that, lock number six, last one of the day.
lovely setting. And I've been given £1.50 from Fran with instructions to go and get some eggs. Look, happy chickens. Oh, look at that. We like the blue ones, they're really tasty. Look at that. Lovely. That'll put a smile on her face. I'll eat them. baby lambs. I know. We're well, just on a little cruise today, about four miles and four locks I think it is, maybe a swing bridge or two, heading to the village of Renbury. Well we're going to park this side of Renbury. Park? Yeah, park this side of Renbury um, because you're off to a garden centre. Yeah, there's a lovely little canal side garden centre there which I think is going to have a cafe opening but not until Easter weekend, next weekend. So that particular avenue of pleasure is not open, but I do want some seeds and tomato plants because I've been um, I've failed miserably and not sown them in time. Yes. But you have to go, you have to support these businesses, don't you? Canal side yeah. businesses yeah. need our help. So yeah. So that's all we're doing today. We've done a couple of locks behind us. If you can hear a bird in the background going chip 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 chip. It's a chiff chaff. It no, doesn't go chip chip chip, it goes chiff chaff chiff chaff. Yeah, chaff. No, <laughs> chiff chaff chiff chaff. There's so many of them along here. And they started at five o'clock this they morning. They started at five o'clock this morning outside the bedroom window, but the fact that they've flown all the way from Africa to come and see us, they can make as much noise as they like. <laughs> yeah, all the birds are actually getting really noisy and their um, spring plumage is really bright now. Even, even the blue tits and great tits we've noticed are really colourful. Um, so we're planning to do the dawn chorus. We're going to find a nice little bit of woodland this yeah, year and yeah, do the do dawn again. chorus. Get Lovely. you up out of bed at four o'clock in the morning yeah. again. I think it was the other way around. I had to drag you out of bed last time we did it. We anyway, you're do. on a bit of a mission this year, aren't you? You're writing a haiku poem. 
for every day of the year. I just thought it would be a real nice thing to do and if you don't know what a haiku is, it's a three line poem and the first and third lines have to be seven syllables, the middle line has to be five syllables. Um, so I just thought it'd be a really quick way to make a record of this year. Is that the right way around? 757 seven, or is it 575? Five, 575. Five, did seven, I say five. that? Yes, yeah. 557. Five, five. Yes, 575. Five. So this, today's um, haiku goes... Chiff, chaff, chiff, chaff, chiff. Chiff, chaff, chiff, chaff, chiff. Chiff, chaff, chiff, chiff, chiff. I don't think Simon Armitage has got any problems whatsoever. He can, I've... can keep his job as the Poet Laureate, I think. Well, I've copyrighted that, so if anybody nicks it, it yeah. was mine first. <laughs> right, I just see the next lock, so uh, let's get on. Yeah. Cows are back in the fields. There's a fair few in there. Hmm. It would be nice if that plastic wasn't there, wouldn't it? It's a lovely mooring spot along here. There are rings all the way along. So you get uh, 48 hours here. I think it starts from April the 1st. Otherwise, the rest of the year, the winter time, you can be here for two weeks. It's a lovely spot. Here we are at the fourth and last lock of the day, Marbury Lock. That's a beautiful setting. Want your coffee? Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Nice little cottage, friend. It's a lovely cottage, isn't it? Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, what a lovely day for a cruise. It's still quite chilly, isn't it? But yeah, it's just... cool breeze, but it, uh, it's lovely. I'm still in my really jumper. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Not sure I could uh, live here, though, friend. It could be a bit busy in the summer. <laughs> be a perfect place for me to sit and weave and sell our our goods but would. yeah in the summer you're right really busy I'd have jams and marmalade and eggs for sale excess vegetables I know all my wares <laughs> <laughs> that's that lock done six foot deep didn't take too long but there's a fierce bywash on the other side of the bridge that uh, will push the front end of the boat over for sure. I'll pick you up on the lock landing, okay? We'll get past this bywash. Mm, not as fierce as I remember. Wait for me. You come in. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Well, it's less than a mile, isn't it, before we're mooring up? As soon as we find somewhere nice, I think, really, now. 
as long as we can walk to the garden centre come nursery. Yep, it'd be interesting. Do you think they sell Mars bars? I did go shopping this morning to the little local shop. And? What? <laughs> what did you buy? <laughs> I bought a Mars bar looky likey. Other brands are available, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yes, you've got chocolate, you're okay. Although you have just had an Eccles cake. Yeah, it was a, that's our latest go-to cake at the moment, isn't yeah. it? Eccles cakes, they're delicious. It's nice to see the towpaths drying up now, even though there's still a lot of uh, water lying around in the fields. But yeah, it's been a gorgeous day. Nice little cruise. What are we looking at? It's amazing. These, I don't know what pine trees they are, but there's male ones and female ones. And the female ones have got tiny little pink scarlet flowers on with the pine cones. So I just had to leap off the boat quickly. Well, you'll have to get your books out. And that's one thing I'm not up on is pine trees. No, They're me... deciduous pines though as well, aren't they? So they can't yeah. be that uh, difficult to They're beautiful. find out what they are. Right, you're coming so back let me on, on. We just spent one night back there by the bridge. Lovely and quiet, beautiful location, but we're moving on now through the lift bridge and through the automated lift bridge at Renbury to fill up with water. But before doing that, we're stopping up at the garden center ahead to see uh, what they've got. And it's blowing a gale and as you can see it doesn't look very promising coming up behind us the winds coming from behind so get the water visit the garden center get the water and moor up again as soon as possible well, that was a quick stop at the garden center Fran's coming back empty-handed so she's obviously not getting what she wants. No tomato plants yet, you said it's too early. They've got compost, but the cash machine's not working, the card machine's not working, uh, and we haven't got cash. But he did say he'll lend us a wheelbarrow, so we can walk back from Renbury and borrow his wheelbarrow. <laughs> and take it back. Well, here we are at Renbury Mill Marina, filling up with water and the heavens have just opened. Sleet, hail, and now it's just raining. So the engine's still running because the washing machine's going. Fran's having a shower while we're filling up with water. And uh, gonna park the boat just in front of those two boats up ahead there and uh, call it quits for the day. That's if we can managed to fight the wind reversing out. Hmm. If you enjoy our content, then you might like to consider becoming a member through Patreon or YouTube. You get our videos early and ad free, plus a regular blog from Fran. Also, you get that fuzzy feeling knowing you're doing something of national importance by supporting us. See you next time and thanks for watching.